friends concerning the uh, entertainment industry in Ghana yeah. here. Yeah. Most Ghanaians have to come to they've come to accept the fact that the Nigerians are dominating the Ghanaian entertainment industry. and not only the Ghanaian entertainment industry but then across Africa. How are Nigerians dominating the Ghana entertainment industry? You said Ghana entertainment industry. How are the Nigerians dominating it? Yes, their movies, especially when it comes to their movies. No, they can't dominate Ghana movie industry. It's fun. It's educative. It's entertaining. It's season three of your favorite TV show, Lucky Trip. Welcome. Beautiful people, my name is Kamido, aka Mr. Grind on Stop. Hello. Hi. Hello, boss. Hey. Mama, hey, man. Do family when it's family time. Don't Take a seat as we you. embark on a ride of your life with your favorite celebrities. We rather go to Nigeria to film. Miss V is my friend, actually. I've I know you are like Ruben. Hey. Lucky trip, the ride of your life. Hi, lovely viewers. My name is Prince David Osai. Today I'm on Lucky Trip. I'm going to be your driver for today. We're going to have fun, have an exciting encounter with the fans, with the people. It's going to be a show. You know what I'm saying? It's getting exciting, you know? They don't know who is coming to pick them. Let's see how they react. Let's see their reactions. Hi. Please sit down. <laughs> That's so amazing. Yeah, <laughs> very fortunate. Very, very close. Uh, let's say Christmas came too early. Very. <laughs> Christmas came in June. <laughs> so, how have you guys been? Well, it's been great. It's nice. Been great. So, friends, doing movies and driving at the same time, how do you manage? Um, so let's say this is a side business I'm doing. Uh, so whenever I'm not busy filming, I do this just to lighten you guys up, my fans. Wow. Yeah. yeah. So it's not really for the money, just to... We are making a lot of money. No, it's not really about the money. So it's about the passion? Uh, the passion and just to do something different to, you know, get close to the fan base. What do you guys do? Students? Actually, a makeup artist. Oh, nice. Yes. Makeup from time to time online. Oh, okay. Yeah. So, um, have you thought about joining the industry? Yes, I actually have, but I don't think I have the opportunity to do so. Oh, you're looking for the opening, the connection. <laughs> okay. Exactly. Yeah, now that we're vibing in this car, hopefully after your ride, we'll see how best I can assist, yeah? My God. So are you, you are very vocal on social media. I'm, I'm vocal everywhere. As a human being, you need to you need to be vocal. Your voice needs to be heard. You don't come into the world and play the silent lamb. You need to be heard. If you have something to say, say it. As Americans, we say, see something, say something. Say something. Yeah. It's a way of putting society in check because um, people of our caliber have the numbers so if you have the numbers that means people are watching and people are listening to you so when you speak in a way you're also contributing to the development of society so it's good to speak <laughs> and for, as for bullying you see yeah, as for cyber bullying some of us have made our mind so fortified okay. that um whatever you say uh, you are in your small corner in your house and you feel you have um 20 cities data or 10 cities data if you want to insult somebody no problem i'm here <laughs> and you are here and so are the only way i can communicate is to come here to come and here. when i come here i'm going to live here so i would rather stay here mm. and allow you to make your noise <laughs> imaginary noise because you might never see me or you might never meet me but it's sad how you know the z generation now mm -hmm. the young ones of today feel the best way to express themselves is to insult grown-ups mm. or to disrespect grown-ups. But what they fail to understand is they will also grow. Mm. Mm. <laughs> if I may ask, are you married? Yes, I'm married with three beautiful kids. I have a boy and two beautiful girls. Wow. 
Yeah, it's wow, yeah. <laughs> wow. <laughs> oh, some things we don't, yeah, some things we don't really project on social media because family has to be private. I, I was even about to ask that question. You yeah. don't really see like, your family. Or yes, because like, my family is my family. Your business is not out there. No, because it's enough for them to attack me. Okay. And it's enough, you know, I'm the I'm the actor, I'm the one they are looking for if they want to bully or say anything. Okay. Not my Not kids or my wife, no. So I keep my family private. That's a good thing to do. Yeah. Very it's healthy that way because you know some of these kids are very sensitive. Mm -hmm. So if you don't protect them, someone might hurt them. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so friends, concerning the uh, entertainment industry in yeah. Ghana here, yeah. most Ghanaians have to come to they've come to accept the fact that the Nigerians are dominating the Ghanaian entertainment industry. and not only the Ghanaian entertainment industry but then across Africa. How are Nigerians dominating the Ghana entertainment industry? You said Ghana entertainment industry. How are the Nigerians dominating it? Yes, their movies especially when it comes to their movies. No, they can't dominate Ghana movie industry. Okay. How many Nigerians do you see that are actors in Ghana? We rather go to Nigeria to film. Okay. We go to Nigeria to film. Like next month, for instance, I'm going to be in Lagos and Abuja filming. So we go to Nigeria to film. The number of Ghanaian actors and actresses that go to Nigeria to film mm -hmm. is more than the Nigerians that come to Ghana to film. But we might have Nigerian producers in Ghana mm -hmm. who are producing quality movies for Nollywood and for Gollywood, but they are Nigerians, okay. if that's what you mean. But in terms of dominating the industry, no. Nigerians are not dominating our industry, but we have Nigerian producers who are producing what quality movies for Nigeria, Nollywood, and for Ghana film industry. So that is what I would say. And um, with regards to Nigeria being the giant, when it comes to the entertainment industry in, um, in Africa, Nigeria is a big nation. Nigeria has a population of about 360 million people. So 360 million people, even if 10 million people decide to support the art, that's good news. Mm -hmm. And Nigerians love to support each other. They support themselves a lot. Ghana, um, our support base is based on emotions. Ghanaian can love you today, love you for your movie, love you for whatever. At the next moment, they are insulting you. <laughs> They are yeah. bullying you on social media. Oh, they awesome. and sometimes you wonder who is truly the fan. Who is your fan? Who is your fan? Because the people that come to insult you are the people on your page. Mm -hmm. The people that follow you. So you ask yourself, who is truly the fan? Who is truly my fan? Mm. Uh huh. So that's the problem. And um, uh, sometimes as an actor, as a celebrity, I meet people, and sometimes people are just angry. Mm. They don't know Prince David from anywhere they probably seen Prince David on TV and um, they've watched his movie now they encounter Prince David Prince David has not even spoken as soon as they see maybe Prince David walk into a place they film or uh, maybe Prince David park his car or he's driving a nice car this guy is too no what does he think he is no no it's, it shouldn't be like that you should be happy when you see your celebrities because that's all you have we can't exactly. go out there and take another country's exactly. um, celebrities and, and celebrate them. We have to do ours. And when you guys do that, you encourage us to do more. <sighs>
<laughs> Name three things you would bring with you on a desert island. Deserted island. Deserted island. Water, food, and food. <laughs> yeah, I need a lot of food. A food lovers. Yeah, I need to eat. If I'm isolated, I need to eat a lot. To eat a lot. Yeah. Uh, it's been an interesting ride. Like Very interesting. Yeah, I think uh, we're at your location now. Yes. Oof. Okay. So, um, sorry. What? What did you say your name was again? My name is Kuna. No, him. Gazo. There's a box at the back seat, yeah. I don't feel like going down. No, your time is up, boy. <laughs> this this is business, no, like, bro. It was so <laughs> yeah, so there's a that's a what's it called? There's a bag there. There's a box actually. Okay. Could you pick it up? I've got something for you guys. Wow. You've got something. Okay. Wow. So for the lucky trip, once you Bye. get the opportunity of riding with me, okay, you open it as a lucky wow. trip so nice. Yeah. Oh, wow. Oh. This is um live boy show from Liver Brothers. So it's a key holder. What's in this box? I'm Open interested. It. I'm interested. <laughs> oh my goodness. So what do you have That's a beautiful mug. Yeah. For your morning tea oh and coffee. Tea, yeah. <laughs> right. Oh friend. It's been nice and hanging out with you guys, yeah. Thank you One so, love, man. So much. One. <laughs> sure.